Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in the last video, we have focused on the user existence, whether the user exists in our API, in our database or not. Okay. In this video, we're going to focus on the password change. Okay. Because if a user will change the password, his or her token will also change. Okay. So that's the logic we have to build in this video. So this is where we left in the last video. And what I'm going to do is let's come here and get back to your user model. Okay because here we are in the user model and here you can see we have this instant method we have created for the correct password okay i hope you guys haven't forgot that so we have this instant method and we're going to create one more instant method here right here so let's come here we're going to say schema dot method and we'll say change after and we have to call this function normal function and in that we're going to pass a couple of things okay jwp jwt timestamp and in that we're going to simply return this false okay so if user hasn't changed their password we'll return true but if they have changed we we'll return false okay so here we have to do a couple of check so the first check we have to do is that user is modified their password or not so that's the very first check we have to do if so here we have you can see here we have the password and here we're going to take a variable because we have to keep the date that when the user is changed the password okay so we're going to update this part as well so let's say change password date and that's what we're going to utilize it here so we'll say password modify at if that's the truth then we have to simply console log out this password change at and here we're going to pass this jwt timestamp so that's the simple logic we have here now let's come back to the sign up and here what I want, I want to simply provide the field we have created, password change at, and I'm going to provide the password, okay? Not password, the date. Okay, so let's come here, 2018, two, and this one is going to, let's say, eight. And make sure to wrap this in a bracket so otherwise it will throw an error. So that looks good to me. Okay, wrap this into a bracket and from here as well and this looks good no more error we have here remove this extra bracket not bracket comma and now looks good let's send the request and here you can see we got the user okay we got a new user looking fine to us we got the token and if we refresh here you can see the user we got okay that looks good to me no more error we have here and that looks good come back to the postman come here and open up your terminal okay that's so we having no logs okay oh my bad sorry because we are not using this function okay we have to utilize it come here and let's call the function we have the fresh user on that we're going to call the function and we have to pass the decoded data dot in that we have the time okay the starting time that's what we are passing here and let's come here Mm. we are connected with our database no more error we have simply change this email come back to the here and simply try to log in with the email which we have created and here you can see copy the token and let's try to hit a request so replace the token save it and hit a request and here you can see we got this error message must be an object Okay, so there may be a problem in our find method, I guess. This one is looking fine. Let's simply copy that and let's come back here and simply try to replace the token. And that looks good. No more problem we have here. But still we are getting this error message. Find one is something's wrong with that. Okay, so let's come here and in the user model. And that looks good to me. No more problem we have here. And... Mm. okay okay sorry my bad this one is find by id not find one so find by id <laughs> because that's how you can make a query on mongoose okay find by id and now it will work fine okay now you can easily able to see the logs so hit a request you can see here we got all the valid data from our nft api looks good and you can see this is the logs we got let's bring the terminal up you can see the query took time we got it hit the request and 
let's come here okay so some problem we have because change the create account and simply pass that header request this is the token we got simply copy that one come here and try to first try to log in with the account which you have created so simply grab this one and try to log in here hit a request got a token simply copy the token and that's the token we're going to utilize to log into our api so simply paste here hit a request and that's how we get the data so it's looking fine and here you can see in the terminal things are looking fine no more logs we are getting okay no more logs we are getting we are not able to get this